Hey guys, we now have the, the data on the best-selling electric cars in the United States this year for the first nine months of the year. So here's the list. I'm curious to know which ones you guys would consider buying and which ones you think are actually worth the money. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. Let's actually get straight to this. The list, first place, of course, is the, well, General Motors Hummer. That's the best-selling vehicle in the US. No, I'm just joking. Um, obviously, it's not. It's the Tesla Model Y. I'm sure you already knew that. Topping the sales charts for, well, basically every year since it became a vehicle in the US. Now, EV sales in the US in the last quarter hit a high of 438,487. So let's just go with 438,500, which means growth of 41% from Q2 and growth of 30% from the same quarter last year, which is great because that means that that outpaced growth worldwide. Growth for EV sales this year for the first nine months of the year is up 27%. And the US just beat their numbers by 29.6%. So guys, that's great news. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be so good for the last few months of the year, but electric vehicles did claim a record 12% market share in the US, up from 8.6% during the same period last year. Now, I should say um, that 12%, actually 12.9% was for September. For the entire quarter, market share was 10.5%. Model Y, 115,000 were sold during the last three months, which was a 29% increase from the 89,000 delivered last year. But Tesla's market share did, of course, decline, which is expected, from 49% to 41%. Now, let's have a look at the other numbers as well. Model 3 was clearly in second place, quite a long way away from the Model Y, but that makes total sense in my opinion. Sedans have been falling their sales worldwide for a decade now. 54,000 sales for the Model 3. Chevy Equinox, 25,000. I'm surprised, to be honest. I would have thought that the Equinox EV sales would be closer to the Model 3. Model 3 more than double the sales of the third place Equinox. Next is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. 22,000. When I was in California in October of last year, man, I saw so many Hyundai Ioniq 5s. People who own them clearly drive them a lot. Or maybe that was just my anecdotal experience, probably my anecdotal experience. Honda Prologue, 20,000. So Honda Prologue, not far behind. Sales for the Prologue and the Ioniq 5 were very similar. Ford Mustang Mach-E was next, basically the same sales as the Honda Prologue, 20,200. Followed by the Volkswagen ID4, a long way back from the Mac E with 12,000 sales. Next was the Audi Q6 e-tron with 10,300. I'm surprised to see the Q6 e-tron sold that many cars. It's um, really interesting to see. Ford F-150 Lightning was in ninth place with 10,000 deliveries, almost the same as the Audi Q6 e-tron. And the Rivian R1S was in 10th with 8,200 sales. You can see here looking at this chart, from Cox Automotive, that EV sales were well and truly at an all-time record. And of course, a lot of that came down to Donald Trump ending the EV incentives, but you never know. I mean, maybe EV sales will continue this year at a, a high pace. I hope they do. Unfortunately, though, JD Power predicts that they're about to fall by 58% in the US. And Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, and General Motors, they're saying similar things. But I really hope that's not true. The Chevy Equinox EV, though, total of 25,000 being sold or 25,100 means that sales for that model grew by 156.7%. So that's um, that's a big success. The Hyundai Anik 5 and Honda Prologue sales around 21,000. Pretty good numbers from them. But the surprise seller here was the Audi Q6 e-tron. And I mean, that was a really impressive result for Audi. I'm not sure how they pulled that off. Was there any discounting possibly? Maybe, I'm not, I don't know. Now, guys, if you look at the Rivian R1S in 10th place, followed up by the R1S is the Chevrolet Blazer EV with 8,000. So Audi's Q6 e-tron easily outsold the Chevy Blazer EV. That's surprising. Next was the Kia EV9 with 7,500 deliveries, followed by the Cadillac Lyric, uh, 7,300 deliveries for the Lyric. Now, let's have a look at the best sellers for the entire year. Year to date, Tesla Model Y is well out in first place with 265,000 deliveries. Model 3 in second, 155,000. Chevrolet Equinox, 52,800. The Ford Mustang Mach-E, 42,000. 
Hyundai Ioniq 5, 41,000. Honda Prologue, 36,500. Tesla Cybertruck, 26,000. Down 38% from last year. My solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay $0 for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Actually, before I move on, let's look at the, what the numbers show here. Tesla Model Y sales down 8%, but that's probably mostly because of uh, a new model and also some other factors, of course, but down 8%. Model 3 sales up 18%. Equinox sales up 391%, but that's a new model, so I don't think we can really take too much stock out of that. Mustang Mach E up 18%. Hyundai Ioniq 5 up 36%. Great numbers for Hyundai. Honda Prologue up 158%. Also a newish model. It wasn't on sale for all of last year. Cybertruck sales are down 38%. So other notable entries here, ID4 sales were up 36.7%. Similar to the Chevrolet Blazer. Both of them are up about 35-36%. Vehicles that didn't perform so well. The Cadillac Lyric down by 18% from 20,000 at this point last year to 16,600. The BMW i4 down 5%. The GMC Hummer up 49% from 9,800 sales last year to 13,300 this year. I don't know why people are buying those, but anyway, they are. Kia EV9 sales down, down 22% from 16,000 last year to 12,450 this year. Toyota BZ4X sales fell as well, 13,600 sales last year and 12,200 this year, down 10%. Uh, truthfully, though, Toyota just couldn't care less about selling EVs because I think about 0.1% of Toyota's sales worldwide this year have been fully electric cars, 0.1%. The numbers are just truly shocking. Acura ZDX, uh, sales up 295%. Kia Nero, 1% growth. Kia EV6, down 31%. Tesla Model S, down 37%. Now, new entrants on the market, we should actually mention this year, so far Porsche have sold, or Porsche, as you say, in the, in the US and Germany, Porsche Macan, 10,400 deliveries so far this year, and that's a new model, followed by the Jeep Wagoneer with 10,400 sales, Tesla Model X down 34% with 10,000 sales, uh, up, that's down from 15,500 last year, Subaru Solterra up 9% with 9,972 sales. And the car that just won Germany's luxury car of the year, Cadillac Optic, new model, 9,800 deliveries so far this year. Chevy Silverado, 9,400 deliveries, up 78% on last year. I can't believe Chevrolet is selling so few Silverados. The, the electric Silverado is a fantastic vehicle. I mean, it's got 500 miles of range. If you want that version with a lot of range, it's, real, it's for the price, it's a fantastic car. I mean, I don't, I just, what are Americans, they don't know about it or they what? I don't get it. I mean, that's 500 miles of range. That's probably about similar to the internal combustion version. And it's got a lot of power. It's got a mid gate. It's silent. Yeah, these numbers to me are just truly bizarre. Now, let's have a look at the absolute worst performing cars. Rivian's R1T, unfortunately, down 33%. Now, that's disappointing. The R1T is quite a nice vehicle. Lexus RZ down 36%. Yeah, no surprises there. Uh, down 39% is the Nissan Leaf. There's a new model that's just come out. That's probably the main reason for that. Ford E-Transit, down 50%. So that's really disappointing. Ford sold 9,200 last year, only 4,600 this year, even though the Ford E-Transit has been upgraded with a lot more range. It's much better than what it used to be. The Volvo XC40, down 88%. That could be because of the Chinese supply issues. Mini Countryman, um, good sales for Mini up 982% with 2,000. Another car that's done well, the GMC Sierra EV. That's uh, delivered 1,617, up 318%. Now, one number here, quite interesting here, one of the worst performers is the Mercedes EQS. Mercedes have discontinued this vehicle now. It's been a bit of a sales flop around the world. It's down 75%. That's actually not a bad car though. Just too expensive for what it was. Audi e-tron sales down 46%. Audi Q8 e-tron sales down 86%. 6,365 last year, only 866 this year. That is um, very surprising. 
You know, Chevy Bolt sales as well fell by 98.6% because, well, there was nothing really left on the market. The new Chevy Bolt, though, when that comes out in January of next year, that's going to be one of the best-selling electric cars in the US. I think it's excellent value for money. So exciting to see that. That should help boost EV sales in America. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.